The Upper Oconee Watershed Network, also known as UOWN, is a local group based in the Athens area that is dedicated to protecting water resources and improving stream health in the Upper Oconee River watershed through community-based advocacy, monitoring, education, and recreation. UOWN has collected over 20 years of water quality data. The group performs physical, chemical, and biological monitoring on a quarterly basis. It uses the Georgia adopt stream protocols for the biological or the macroinvertebrate monitoring. At each UOWN quarterly monitoring, some number of sites are selected for biological monitoring. The presence and relative abundance of taxa are recorded on Georgia adopt stream macroinvertebrate monitoring forms and the water quality index score is added to the UOWN dataset. For this project, the macroinvertebrate forms for the 2001 to 2016 were reviewed and the presence of macroinvertebrates taxa were entered into a separate dataset. For instance, if stoneflies, mayflies, crayfish, midge, and worms were found at a site, this would be entered for the sampling date. This dataset was used to understand temporal and spatial trends in macroinvertebrate taxa between the years 2001 to 2016. The data from 2001 to 2016 were from 404 samples taken across 16 creeks and tributaries. Some minor modifications to the dataset were required to account for the changes in the adopt stream dataset made in 2006. These changes were were related to how macroinvertebrate taxa were assigned to sensitive, somewhat sensitive, and tolerant categories. For instance, the helgramite was moved from the sensitive to the somewhat sensitive category. The fish fly had its own category, but it was moved to Dobson fly slash helgramite slash fish fly. The caddis fly was separated into caddis fly and common net spinning caddis fly. The impact of this was noted in the analysis. Snipe flies were added into the sensitive category. Damsel flies and dragonflies were initially counted separately, but were grouped together. Beetle larvae, Aethrix, and Aether fly were listed as somewhat sensitive species, but were dropped. These were not considered in the analysis, as few were found. The data was placed in commerce separated format and was analyzed using the Python programming language. Only seven creeks were only seven creeks were selected for an analysis as only those have been sampled at least twice a year. In addition to computing a mean water quality index, a mean species rich richness was also computed. Species richness was derived by counting the number of species on each sampling date. For each of the seven creeks, the percentage of sampling dates that have a given macroinvertebrate taxa was found and was computed. These results are provided in a table in the poster. They highlight the differences between the creeks with poor, fair, and good water quality. This indicates and also provides a look at the spatial differences in the Upper Oconee watershed. A temporal analysis was also performed to look at changes in percentages of different taxa over the years of 2001 to 2005 and the years 2006 to 2010, as well as the years 2010 to 2016. This was done in order to look for trends in macroinvertebrate presence. Changes in land use and stream habitat could impact species composition and number. Thank you.